Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, John's back here to attempt another YouTube video. Last one didn't do so good, so it didn't even get uploaded. But, uh, uh, we shot the hell up. Uh, okay, uh, I just want to touch base with you guys. Uh, I actually came here to... If this video will even upload, I want to do just a little agitating picking a little bit. Anybody who knows me knows I love to pick and torment the people I actually like. If I hate you, I just totally ignore you and snub you. Uh, but uh, I just got a package in today on uh, from an indie vendor wax called Melted Moose. And it made me think of somebody in particular who has never ordered from the Melted Moose. So, I kind of wanted to tease and torment uh, the scent of life out there. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? But, uh, I want to show you what I got. And, uh, got quite a bit, actually. Uh, we start out here with what's called House on Haunted Hill. Uh, it's blue sugar, toasted marshmallow, and lavender fields. Uh, she actually does have the pour date on it of May 28th. So it's not that poured that long ago. And I definitely get a little bit of the marshmallow and the lavender for sure. Uh, uh, basically, they're, they look the same as uh, the Sen and Squirrel. Uh, if you have ever ordered from them. And here we have uh, Purple Cow. Uh, purple Cow, is, which is grape soda and vanilla ice cream. Definitely, uh, on cold this is a little bit light, but you definitely can get a little hint of the grape off of this one. Uh, I just, boy, I can't remember who it was. I just melted somebody's grape soda the, the other day, and it was actually pretty, pretty light. Okay. Uh, here we have what is called Murder. You probably never get to see these labels. Uh, murder for Hire. Now, Murder for Hire is leather, earthen oak, vanilla musk, and bonfire bliss. Uh, I can actually pick up on the leather. I can pick up on what, uh, a little bit of the oak as well on this one. Uh, here we have what is... Blackberry Sage, Marshmallow, Fireside, and Palo Santo. Uh, definitely get the Blackberry for sure, and, and the Sage comes out as well. And uh, before I forget, yeah, these are only two twenty-five a piece, so very reasonable. Here we have the seesaw, what is called Seaside Laundry. This is clean cotton and sea mist. Definitely get the sea mist. This is very, uh, pretty light, clean scent. Uh, but this is so freaking pretty. I was actually, I was a little skeptical about this. Uh, but it is actually very pretty. I hope it throws great. Uh, probably great for a summer day. Now here we have a uh, beach bonfire. Now beach bonfire is toasty campfire, marshmallow, and salty sea air. Uh, definitely get the salty sea uh, sea air off of it. 
I'm not. I'm not getting anything that on coldest makes me think of a campfire or marshmallow, though. <clears throat> and here we have lemon, uh, lemon cone, which is uh, sweet, tangy lemon, vanilla ice cream, and sugared waffle cone. Okay, I get what makes me think of a lemon meringue pie. Maybe a little hint of vanilla. I don't get anything that, on cold anyway, I don't, I'm not getting anything that makes me think of a waffle cone though. Actually, some of these I want to set, potentially set to the side. Uh, here we have apple crisp. Uh, apple crisp is cinnamon spiced apples with spiced oat strudel topping. Uh, can definitely, not sure so much about the cinnamon, but I definitely get the apple. You can get what I think is supposed to be the strudel topping. <clears throat> Here we have what's wake up call. Uh, wake up call is toasted hazelnut coffee and glazed maple pecan toffee. Definitely have the hazelnut for sure. That is the first thing that jumps out at you. And you probably get a bit of the, uh, get a little bit of a coffee bean as well. Uh, I'm not really getting maple or the pecan note off of it. Uh, here we have uh, the loopy milkshake. And again, uh, she has the poor dates on on her labels as well. Loopy milkshake is fruit loops, orange cream, sickle, and vanilla ice cream. And you definitely get uh, the orange cream sickle and and the fruit loops really stand right out right off the top to you. Here we have her uh, blueberry cobbler. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. This blueberry is very. This blueberry makes me think of an actual. Uh, more like a pie or anything. It kind of comes off like with a. Uh, yeah, it's not in the notes, but it makes you think of like a blue, maybe like a blueberry cheesecake in a way, because you get a little bit what I feel like the vanilla mixed in with the blueberry. And of course, here we have the key lime pie. Actually, I don't get much. <laughs> Uh, what stands out more to me is like an actual pie crust you note know, in a way. Uh, I think that kind of seems to overpower what little key lime you get with this one. Uh, here we have 7 Up Pound Cake, uh, Wild Berry Mousse, and Vanilla Ice Cream. And definitely can get a cake in the uh, a berry note off of this. Actually, here we have uh, milk and cookies, which is warm cookies, a hint of cinnamon, vanilla, and sweet sweet cream.
Down if we can get the cookies. I'm not really picking up any. Maybe a little vanilla. I'm not really detecting any cinnamon. It actually makes me think of almost like a chocolate chip cookie. With a hint of vanilla. I'm not getting any cinnamon off of this though. Here we have uh, what they call Taste the Rainbow. All the fruits, all the colors, and a magical fruity fragrance. Wow, this is really different. I can't really... This is weird to me. Um, you know, for me personally, I'm. There might be a, such a mixture of fruits, but it almost comes off like a. To me, it's almost like a really light, fresh scent in a way too. To me, um, makes me want for something in there that she's not mentioning. Here we have what's called sea salt blossom, which is supposed to be aquatic floral, sea moss, dewy green notes, wood, and musk. Uh, definitely get the sea salt. What I'm also thinking of, uh, the dewy green notes. I'm not getting the wood or the... Yeah, you might get a little aquatic floral. The wood and the musk, I'm not really picking up on. Uh, here we have Southern S'mores. It's strawberry jam and toasted marshmallow. Sandwiched in between sweet cornbread cakes. Okay, I get a little bit of what does smell like a toast. No. And maybe the cornbread. Uh, the strawberry, to me, is extremely light to me. Barely noticeable. Here we have what's called root beer smoked, uh, frosty root beer and smoked vanilla. The root beer just stands right out, right off the top. Um, yeah, I'm not getting the van much of the van yeah, a little bit of a smokiness. I don't really pick up on vanilla itself with this. And here we have honey butter, honey butter rolls, what they call, uh, warm bread rolls with a hint of whipped cinnamon and honey butter. This actually makes me just think of a, a glazed honey bun. Now a couple of these. Anybody knows Lisa, she's obsessed with Palo Santo. I, I actually call her my Palo Santo girl. Uh, clear your mind with sweet, mild scent of sage, vanilla, mint, citrus, and cedar. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking good, Lisa. Uh, yeah, I can definitely get the cedar. And, uh, let's see. The, what really, I think it's like the sage and the cedar combination. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You would love this, Lisa. And here we have Palo Santo, Fireside, and Toasted Marshmallow. Uh, 
Oh, and the Palo Santo and the... I should get, like, a little smokiness, so I'm getting, a, like, the fireside. Again, only two twenty-five dollars a piece. Uh, and, of course, for... Uh, got a couple freebies here. Uh, pretty little paw print here. Uh, it's actually called the Doctor of Mystical Science. Uh, so, we have no notes here to work with. I don't know what to think. Ugh, it's... Don't think I'll remain a mystery because I really can't even get a clue on guessing what the hell it is. <laughs> so, but here we also have another one. Uh, coconut mocha latte. Okay, this is like a. Like a dark chocolate mocha meets uh, the coconut from an almond joy, exactly what it makes me think of. So that's my little haul from the uh, Melton Moose. Again, they're only two twenty-five a piece, so give them a shot. Uh, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope the sucker actually uploads. So uh, have a great night. See you around.